What if I told you there was a life hack that allowed you to get the maximum amount of reward in a limited amount of time? That is the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, the days in which the Hajj is performed, the 10 days preceding Eid al Adha. The Prophet ﷺ said, There are no days in which good deeds are more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these 10 days. These 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed these first 10 days. And it's from His wisdom that He blesses certain places and certain times. Certain places that He has blessed are like Mecca, the Kaaba. And He has blessed the Masjid of the Prophet ﷺ in Medina. And certain times He has blessed are like Ramadan and the last 10 nights of Ramadan as well as Laylatul Qadr and also these 10 days in Dhul Hijjah are blessed. Just like the last 10 nights of Ramadan are considered the most blessed nights of the entire year, the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah are considered the most blessed days of the year. So it is imperative that we maximize our efforts so that we can maximize our rewards in this time. What is the benefit for us in that? The benefit is that we know none of us are able to maintain a high level of belief and action year round. And this is something normal, we shouldn't feel terrible about this. Think about the greatest athletes in the world. They're not able to maintain peak performance at every single moment. Rather there's ups and downs. And we should be inspired that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this time, these 10 days, the time for us to shine, for us to be at the highest point of our performance. Think about your relationship with Allah right now on a scale of 1 to 10. How are you doing with your relationship with Allah, with the Qur'an? If you're feeling on the low end, 1, 2, or 3, then aim in these 10 days to be a 5, to be a 6. Aim to be higher than you are right now, because even a little bit of progress is good progress. And how can we do that? Here's a simple formula. Number one, carry out the obligations, do the duties that Allah has asked for us to do that we usually don't find ourselves doing throughout the years. Push ourselves and say, in these 10 days, I'm going to try to make it a habit. Number two, stay away from the evils and the sins and the bad things that you're doing that are distracting you from Allah. Try to figure out what those things are, hone in on them, and try to eliminate them from your life. For additional information regarding these 10 days of the Hijjah and Eid, look for more videos in the description.